Breaking news, my wonderful people, it's really sincerely happening. Pro OB group mobilized to, occup to occupy INEC office nationwide over alleged sabotage, disenfranchisement currently ongoing. Yes, so we need to we need to ensure that something is done. Listen, these guys can see the rising support for Peter Obi, and whether you like it or not, to some camps, to some camps, is se is sending a chill, you know, a chill down their spine. They may not want to accept it, but every time they see the news, they see the matches, they see how the youth are enthusiastic and are rising up to say, this is our nation. We want it back. We are tired of the cabal having a few day. It brings about a chill feeling down their spine. And so they are about to be sabotaged. We saw that um, a, a group has accused INEC of some people, you know, registering every Tom, Dick and Harry. And as we speak, INEC has not denied it. No, they did not deny it. And even apart from denying the matter, nothing has been done to rectify that very issue. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Support groups rooting for the actualization of the presidential and vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi and Ahmed Dante, respectively, are not leaving anything anything undone and ensuring that they stand for what is right. Support groups rooting for the actualization of the presidential and vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi and Ahmed Dante, respectively, are not leaving anything to chance as they mobilize to occupy independent National Electoral Commission office nationwide over an alleged compromise. The state lead coordinator of the coalition for Peter Ubi, which organized the Anambra mega rally at the weekend, Chidi Uzio told the Guardian. The state coordinator of Peter Ubi um, in Anambra State, the mega rally that was recently at, uh, arranged, Chidi told the Guardian in equal. Anambra State yesterday that the coalition has set up a highly powered body to investigate and study the matter and give its feedback soon. Chidi, who is also the coordinator for Take Back Nigeria, pointed out after submitting a report that INEC is involved in this in this of about seven million voters who allegedly did not complete the process of their registration to acquire their permanent voters card pvcs he also disclosed that supporters of the candidate of labor party will not be swept under the carpet the controversial issue of invalidating about 1 million out of the two points five million voters in the release list of participants in the registered registration exercise according to him the ongoing state-to-state -state match and alliance and, uh, and arrays for pro peter b group are aimed to sensitize those who have been re rejected by INEC for from registering to make our time to collect and to collectively do what is right he revealed that the 80 that the 68 affiliated CPVs are yearning for OB to win in the 2023 presidential election to take back the country and take out the country and give it to the masses and plunge into all that is absolutely right and necessary to take back the nation. Chidi also noted that the collusion for OB has threatened. The collusion for OB has threatened to ensure they will mobilize Nigerians to occupy INEC offices nationwide if the support group discovered any discrepancies in INEC voters' registration exercises. Speaking, the state coordinator for OB Dante movement also said Nigerians are watching the development. So this is what is happening right now, my people. You'll be surprised and shocked 
you know, that um, Peter Obey group are not sitting down and just waiting for somebody to come by and to just, you know, allow things to go on. They are rising up to the occasion and they are doing all that is absolutely right and necessary in order for the nation to move forward. Because what is happening right now, somebody needs to get on top of it. Somebody needs to get on top of it. Okay, so these are some of the things that are going on. Nigerians are watching very carefully. Nigerians are watching very carefully how things, you know, are looking. Because the days upon us and all that is happening have been showing to us, yet truly, people are legends, lies. You know, some people are taking this out of the ordinary. They are not putting the necessary things in place to ensure that Nigerians, you know, are where they ought to be. Can you see all that is happening currently right now? We cannot continue like this. INEC, you know, some people, INEC has resulted and has allowed itself, sadly, to be used by some people. Okay, and this is what they've been doing from time in memoria. But we're going to change the tradition. We're going to change the status quo. We're going to change it. Okay, we're going to change it. But we're not going to allow it to happen again. We're not going to allow it to happen again. Okay, we're not going to allow it to happen again. We're going to ensure that it is it is no longer, you know, it is no longer allowed. Okay, how they manipulate people's results and things they do. And sadly, they get away with it. It is no longer tenable. We can no longer allow some of these things. They've been doing it for long. You know, they've been doing it for long and they've been getting away with it. But this one, you know, we're not going to allow it. We're not going to allow. We're going to do that which is absolutely right and necessary. We're going to stand for what is right. We're going to ensure, okay, that we make a difference. We make a difference quite critically. Okay? I'll make a difference. So we're going to make sure we make a difference officially. We're going to make a difference. We're going to allow that things are done. Okay? Things are done decently and in order. And we have the right persons, the right people, the right persons in position. So this is what is happening. Nigerians are rising up. Nigerians are saying enough is enough. We can't allow ourselves to be used. Some people want to just, you know, they, they, most of them in position, it's not like they care for Nigerians. They just want to use the people to achieve their aim and purpose. That is using of people. Okay? It's not proper. It's not right. It's not the right thing at all. Humanly speaking, in every way possible, it's not right. It's not right. It's not. So this is what is happening. This is some of the things that are going on. And why we all must look at this more critically and do the right thing. Remember, you have a voice. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.